viewers welcome to another session of my pharmacology series so today i'll be discussing about the pharmacokinetics so actually what is pharmacokinetics so the word pharmacokinetics it is basically derived from two words if we split the word pharmacokinetics it, we can split it into two parts one is the pharmacon and the other is the kinetics so pharmacon actually means drug and kinetics refers to the movement in the body. So, pharmacokinetics combined, in, when we talk in a, in a sentence, it can be summarized as the what happens when a drug moves in the body. So, it includes all the four processes which happen when a drug is administered to a man. So, man in Hindi, it is called as an admi. So, the mnemonic or the short trick what I have made just to easily look at how we can summarize the pharmacokinetics it is in the form of admi that is a d m and e because when a drug is administered to a man what all actions is going to take place in the man so the man the hindi word for man is admi so a d m and e of the admi will refer to one or the one or uh, one step as to one step what occurs in when a drug is administered in the body so a of the army refers to the absorption in the stomach so when a drug is uh, when a drug is administered firstly it enters first step first process what it undergoes is the absorption the d of the army refers to the distribution so once the drug is absorbed it is distributed in the systemic or the blood circulation the third step, the M, refers to the metabolism and the final E of the army will refer to its excretion. So today in this video, I'll be basically focusing on the two initial steps. That is the first step, that is the absorption A of the army, that is A, absorption I'll be discussing and talking about. And next, I'll be talking about the distribution. So the first A, absorption. So here during oral absorption of certain drugs, the bioavailability of some drugs is much decreased due to high first pass metabolism in the liver. So the mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the absorption during absorption, which are the drugs which whose bioavailability is going to get decreased. It can be better remembered if we just look at the phrase what I have made that VP Singh is not a popular PM, where every initial letter of the VP Singh, not a popular PM, will correspond to one of the classes of the drugs, one of the classes of the drugs which whose bioavailability is decreased during oral absorption. So viewers, the V of the VP Singh refers to the Virapamil. So Virapamil is the first drug whose bioavailability is decreased due to first pass metabolism in the liver. So P of the uh, VP Singh refers to propanolol. The Singh S of the Singh refers to salbutamol. The N not a popular PM refers to the nitroglycerine. The A for the amitriptyline not a popular up till now we have I've covered A. That is, A refers to a to the amitriptyline class of the drug. The P refers to the propoxyphene. The next P, not a popular. Popular of the P refers to phenoxy, uh, propoxyphene. And P refers to pethidine and M for the methyl testosterone. So, viewers, this was the short trick as to how we can very easily remember as to what are the drugs whose bioavailability is decreased during first pass metabolism? Next, the, the next step, the D of the army refers to the distribution of the drugs. So the absorbed drug is distributed into the systemic circulation. I already have told you, a part of the drug may be bound to the tissues, tissue protein and particularly the plasma proteins serving as its storage. So when a drug is administered, firstly it is absorbed. And the next step occurring is the distribution of the drugs so plasma it can be the distribution of the drug is through the systemic circulation so when the drug enters into the systemic circulation it 
is going to bind either to the blood proteins that is the plasma proteins and to the tissue proteins. So the plasma protein binding can be just looked upon as so the acidic drugs the mnemonic again here is for A for A. The acidic drugs are going to bind with the albumin whereas the basic drugs are going to bind to the glycoproteins. So viewers this was my up till now I have discussed in the pharmacokinetics the absorption part of it then the distribution part of it. The metabolism and the excretion part of uh, these uh, pharmacokinetics I will be discussing in my further coming videos. So viewers if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos. Thank you for watching.